Hi folks, it's been a while since I've put up a video of any great length. Um, I do believe the last video I did covered the Specky board here. Um, and in, in that video, I think I had created a 28 channel version of that. And uh, I mean, I still have that hung in my office now and it works great. It's beautiful. Um, but you know, like with, like with anything, you know, you always want to, you want to outdo your last effort, right? So, uh, I don't have a lot of time to really mess with this stuff, but, uh, you know, when I do mess with it, you know, I go all in. And, uh, so what I decided to do was just uh, kind of double or triple my efforts and come up with a specky board version two. And, uh, <clears throat> Let me move this one out of the way. So this is this is a prototype board uh, that I developed for my Specky board two. I mean, this is an unpopulated unpopulated board, and uh, what this uh, board has the ability to do it does everything that the Specky board one does, except this one can uh, output up to. 42 channels of uh, of different frequencies where this specky board which I sold in kit form uh, did uh, 14 14 uh, bands so specky board version 2 can do 42 bands so uh, and it and with with the new software that I've written for it, and uh, and the refines refinements I've made on it, uh, uh, the the column height can be uh, a lot a lot larger too. Uh, right now, on the demonstration uh, LED backboard that I built, I have each column at twenty four LEDs with uh, forty two with 42 bands, giving me a total of 1,008 LEDs, I believe. Yeah, so that is a, a lot of LEDs to talk to. Uh, let's not forget that, you know, the, these LEDs have to be kind of refreshed, uh, almost like a, like a TV screen is refreshed. You know, it has to happen very quickly. And if it doesn't happen quickly, our eyes can pick it up. Uh, fairly easily uh, and then you know you don't you won't have that nice fluid animation which which makes looking at this thing uh, you know very interesting to begin with so um, we'll we'll uh, we'll look at uh, we'll look at it in operation and uh, and uh, then you can see what I'm talking about let me know what you think anyway um, how does how did the Specky Board two differ than the the Specky Board one? Well, I mean, first observation is there's more ICs on here. Um, this has uh, six slicer ICs. Um, it has a, a much more complex clock system, and. Uh, still maintains the same form factor so uh, it, it can be used as a hat uh, right on top of an Arduino okay all right so this is a an assembled board uh, you can see all the ICs are on there and and all the other uh, semiconductors are are mounted it looks very similar uh, to the specy board one in terms of dimension um, but you know specky board one was my my first uh, pro project and uh, it's done very well I mean uh, I, I ship I ship these all around the world and um, people have enjoyed it immensely uh, and I'm hoping that this one will soon take its place. Uh, of course, you know, this one is a lot more complicated. It has more, more semiconductors on it. So, you know, it takes longer to build it and 
it costs more to build. I haven't finalized the price as of yet. You know, I'm still testing and playing with the unit myself, but I'm really eager to, you know, kind of show what it's capable of doing. So this is why I put this video together. So let's take a look at the backboard I built for this. Kind of changed up the way um, I, I wired it uh, be, only because, you know, uh, there are so many LEDs in this chain. Uh, I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to have any voltage drops. Notice how the, the front of it is, is really clean. You don't, you don't see any wires. Um, if we, uh, if you look pretty close, you can see the only thing you'll see is, uh, the little junctions where I've soldered the power rail uh, to each LED strip. And notice how that power rail, which is on the back side of this uh, uh, Corplas board, is uh, in the middle of the board, and um, it runs from left to right. And it's, it's in the middle of each of the strips. So the distance that any power coming off of that power rail traveling to the last LED on either side or on the top or in the bottom, the distance is minimal. Um, I used a completely bare uh, copper wire to construct the, the power rail. And I, uh, th this photo doesn't show it, but uh, I doubled up uh, the copper conductor on the power rail just to ensure that you know it, it it could carry the maximum current that that this board would ever ever require. Um, I took this photo before I doubled up uh, the the rails, but uh, trust me, it's 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 rather beefy and. Um, and this wire that I that I used, it's it was it's uninsulated. It doesn't have like an enamel finish or anything on it. Um, it's really soft. It's soft, um, and uh, it's easy to solder. Um, All right. So before we play any music to this thing, um, I'm gonna run some sounds through it with a sound generator, uh, just to demonstrate uh, that all the bands are independent of each other. Uh, Starting at really low frequencies and and going up into almost the high the highest frequencies where you you can't even hear anymore. So uh, let's start playing them. Thank <laughs> you. 